What's up guys, this is Isaac with Lotus Kendamas. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to twirl. I am using the Lotus collaboration with Snarkle Rocks and Kelly. So the twirl is one of the first string flow tricks I recommend learning. It can be learned pretty easily by all levels. It will take some practice to get down and to make it look smooth, but it's a great preliminary trick before you learn anything else. So I know this trick kind of looks magical and uh, quick paced, but uh, the way this trick works is that I'm using my pointer finger to twirl the string and consequently the tama in and out of the remainder of the string in the ken that I'm holding. So the first step of the twirl is holding onto the ken and letting the tama dangle below you. The second step is putting your pointer finger out, swinging the tama so it goes under your pointer finger and around. You wanna make sure that the tama goes around on the outside versus the inside. So once you swig it around your finger and the tama goes on the outside of the string, you're gonna notice that your pointer finger is facing down. I would say about three quarters of the way, your pointer finger is on the string with the tama facing down. What you're gonna do next is turn your finger the other way so your palm uh, is facing up, even though your hand's in a fist, your hand's facing up. The next step is gonna be hard to do without any momentum, but I'll try. But with momentum, this is gonna be a lot easier. Because the tama will be rotating clockwise, you're gonna be able to pull the string and the tama to the inside of the space between the string and your body. So you're gonna have it swing up and then pull like so. And doing that, you're also going to flip your finger around. So now it's hooked around the string, uh, but your hand is facing down. With your finger hooked around the string, what you can do now is the same sort of motion which is continuing the clockwise rotation of the tama and have it wrap around your finger again, just like the first step on the outside. And if you notice now, you're at the very beginning of when the tama went around your finger. So from here, you can learn to keep the twirl going so it turns infinite and you can go forever. I think a good way to think about this trick is really uh, thinking about the feeling and the sensitivity of your finger and your finger is going to be doing all the work to control the string. You'll definitely be using your wrist and your hand to move around, but you're going to get like a good feeling of your finger of being able to um, move it, move the tama on the outside and then pull it on the inside. When I first learned this trick, I actually had a decent experience with string flow tricks, but I saw Jaden from Connecticut uh, do this and he made it look really cool. He can do a lot of other things with his thumb that look nice. Um, but he just showed me and it didn't take me that long to get a hold of it and to understand it. But then it took me some time to make it look smooth. I know I mentioned that I'm going about three quarters down of the string, but you can also do this trick a quarter or halfway. So here's like a quarter of what that looks like. Obviously, I'm gonna have to move my elbow a little bit more or else it's just gonna hit my hand. And halfway, this is what it looks like. So if I'm, I'm, I'm also, as I'm doing it infinitely, I'm moving my finger back a little bit right when it resets, like here. Because if I didn't do that, then my finger, as I turn it, will just come up all the way up to the tama. So yes, the step right when it rotates again on my finger, just as the trick is resetting, I'm gonna move my finger down the string a tiny bit just to make sure that I'm doing it infinitely and it won't get tangled. You can see with my right hand, I am not thinking about this, but I am moving my right hand, the ken, away from me and towards me. And that's just, just to make sure the string is going on the correct side. Although this trick shouldn't take too long to learn, um, it's an extremely important trick to add to your arsenal of string flow tricks. It's a great filler trick to do in between different string flow tricks. It's also a good filler when sometimes on stage, this string is tangled around the ken 
And so I'm still keeping the audience busy and I'm able with the Ken to get my the string free from the Ken. It's also really great to go straight from a twirl into a swirl. So if you notice right here is when you can go around your finger and then swirl it. So I'll do that again. You can also go from a twirl to a butterfly, which we have a tutorial for. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to twirl. Again, this is Isaac with Lotus. Reach out to us in the comments with any questions or advice to anybody else learning this. Please subscribe to support us and we'll see you in the next one.